everyone, welcome to my channel, Shweta Makeup and Beauty, and I hope you all are doing good. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Sending my love to each one of you. Spread love and stay blessed. In this video, I have created two looks for V-Day. One is the day look which is soft and natural. Another one is the night look which is glamorous and glowy. I hope you enjoy the video. I have already moisturized my face and now I am going to apply a lip balm onto my lips. I am using a Forest Essential Lip Balm and this is a Rose Petal Lip Balm. Next, I'm going to use a primer and this is by Color Bar. Primer helps to blur out the pores and it helps the makeup to stay for long. Today, I'm going to define my brows first. I'm going to use this Nasher Brow Kit and I'll define my brows. So first, I'm going to brush my brows in the upward direction. Now I know where I have to fill my brow powder and I don't want to overdo this because I want a really nice glowy and very natural looking makeup. Now if you don't have this brow kit you can also use any eyeshadow brown dark brown eyeshadow or you can use your favorite eye pencil just make sure that it matches your brow hair color and that's it you just have to brush your brow hair with a spoolie brush and there you have natural looking defined brows next i'm going to move on to the eye makeup and i'm going to use this nyx eyeshadow base first this is a new purchase and i've used it once or twice and i am simply loving it and i regret not buying it before and if you love eye makeup, I think you should definitely invest in a good eye primer. And this one is by NYX and it is cheaper than the other primers available. Eye primer really makes a difference in the eye makeup. The color, the pigment, it pops out really well and the eyeshadow stays put for longer hours and it doesn't creases out. Next, I'm using these two shades from Maybelline The Nudes palette and applying it onto the outer V of my eyelids and the crease area. For the day look, I want to go very natural and I don't want to go over the top. I want something which looks natural yet pretty. So I am quite happy with the crease that I have made. Next, I'm going to use this golden shade right here. I'm going to apply it in the initial part of my lids. Next, I'm using NYX Light On Pencil in black to line my lower waterline. I'm also going to tight line my eyes. Next, I'm using Eye and Eyebrow Pencil by NYX and I'm lining my eyelids using this. I'm also creating a little small wing and I'll smudge it all using my Vega Smudger Brush. The eye makeup is not complete yet but first I'm going to color correct my dark circles. For that I'm using MAC Studio Conceal and Correct Duo. I like to mix both orange and yellow corrected together depending on the intensity of my dark circle to get the perfect color corrector shade for my pigmentation. Next, I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me foundation. This is in the shade 128. I'm going to apply this foundation using my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge.
Next, I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade medium and I'm going to apply it under my eyes and on the bridge of my nose, on my temple, on my chin. And then using my blender, I'm going to blend everything nicely. Next, I'm going to use this NYX HD Finishing Powder and I'm going to set my concealer using this. The brush I'm using is by BS Mall and this is really affordable and it's amazing for the price. Moving back to the eye makeup again. So next I'm using this NYX eye and eyebrow pencil again and this is in the shade brown and I'm going to line it under my coal. This will give a really nice smoked out look to the eyes because come on it's Valentine's and you will be making a lot of eye contact. So your eyes should look really Nice, catchy and attractive. I'm also taking it out in the shape of a wing. This will lift my eyes. And next I'm going to use a smudging brush and I'm going to smudge it out. Next, I'm going to use my Vega Eyelash Curler and curl my lashes really nice because I'm not going to use any false lashes today. I'm using Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara to coat my lashes. Today, I'm going to be very generous with a mascara. Since I'm going to apply multiple coats, so I'm removing excess product from my lashes because I don't want them to look clumpy. Next, I'm applying another coat of mascara onto my lashes. Next, it is time to coat my lower lashes. I'm going to go very light with contour today. I'm using this Deborah Milano Matte Finish 24 Hour Velvet Wet and Dry. This is a very long name. I guess this is in the shade brown. I'm going to take it onto my Real Techniques contour brush and contour very lightly. For my nose, I'm going to use a smaller brush and contour very lightly. Next, I'm using this gorgeous blush from Essence. This is in the shade Life's a Cherry and it's really pigmented and I love this and it's also inexpensive. Next, I'm lining my lips using this lip liner from Maybelline. This is in the shade Stellar Pink. Then I'm using Weightless Lip and Cheek Mousse by Lakme95 in the shade Rose Touch to fill them. To highlight, I'm using MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Light Skip 8. This highlighter looks really natural. That's why I decided to use this in the daytime because it gives a really nice glow without being too obvious. And then to set my makeup, I'm using MAC Fix Plus Spray and spraying it all over my face. 
and that's it I just opened my hair and this is the final look for the daytime I really love how this turned out to be it is so natural and fresh okay now moving on to the night look though I'm doing it in the day we are going to alter our makeup a little bit and we are going to turn it into a nighttime makeup I'm going to apply this onto the corner of my eyes. Next, I'm going to take a dry tissue and just wipe off the eyeshadow. No need to wipe it off completely, just wipe off the pigment as much as you can. Next, I am going to use a green iconic eye pencil. This is my Lakme. Then I'm roughly lining this kajal on my eyelids near to my lashes. Since I'm wearing red, I really think that green looks really great with the red color. Next, I'm going to use a brush to smudge it. I'm applying another layer of the product to intensify it a bit more. I'm drawing a wing in the corner of my eyes using NYX Coal. I have not lined it completely. I have drawn just a wing in the end. And I'm going to smudge it out. Next, I'm going to take a highlighter shade from the Nudes palette and I'm going to apply it as my brow bone highlighter. Next, I'm going to remove my lipstick and use a darker shade. I really like how red and green blend together, so I'm going to use a red lipstick for the night makeup. First of all, I'm lining my lips using this slide on pencil by NYX. This is in the shade Red Tape. To fill my lips, I'm using Maybelline lipstick. This is in the shade Fatal Red. Since this is nighttime makeup, I want my highlighter to really pop and glow. So I'm using these two highlighter shades from my Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette to highlight high points of my face. Then I applied another coat of mascara to cover any of the green pigment. And this is the finished look of my nighttime Valentine's makeup. So go ahead and enjoy your day or your night and party hard and spread love and if you like this tutorial please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that we can stay connected and I'll see you in my next video till then take care bye